this is what I'm talking about. This is a real bike lane here. This gets a great score, a really high score, because what you have here is a place for the cars to park, and then you have a place for us to ride, a scooter lane. This gets a high grade, the thumbs up, 9.5 out of 10. This guy should go on the other side of the road. Scooter people, we're back in scooter land today, and right now I am driving by the headquarters of the Pasadena Tournament of Roses, or is that the Rose Parade? Tournament of Roses? Well, it's the Rose Parade, we all know. And that is our ride today. We're riding down the Rose Parade route. Come join me. It's a good day for a good ride. Please like and subscribe, and let's get on our way. We are going to move fast here to start. I don't believe this is a best designated bike lane. So let's just kick it into third and get going. We started out today in what most would call Old Town Pasadena or South Pasadena. All I can tell you is there is a All right guys, so these are all the stands for the Rose Parade here. And this is what you get. And this is what you can buy with a nice expensive ticket. But this is Orange Street, or Orange Grove, I should say. Orange Grove. And we're turning east on Colorado Boulevard. Let's go do it! So today's route is only about five and a half miles battery should not be an issue. The scooter we are on today is the Apollo Ghost, the 52 volt system. It's treated me well, we have over a thousand miles on it. So as we ride through Pasadena, we're going to look to see how friendly Pasadena, the city of Pasadena is, and their roads are to electric scooters and overall to personal electric vehicles. So how mobility friendly is Pasadena? We will find out today. One thing I noticed is when COVID hit, it became popular to build the outside seating into the road, and that's what you're seeing happening here. And I can tell you that the scooter lanes got absorbed and we don't really have any more on this main boulevard of Pasadena. And so we gotta be careful. We gotta stay visible. And we gotta try not to get hit with these drivers that want to keep moving. So I've said it before and I'll say it again, Pasadena is a great place to ride around in terms of being able to view things, but they could use some improvement in the scooter lanes and the bike lanes. And I would not call it a mobility friendly place compared to some of the other places I've ridden so far. So driving down this street the night before the Rose Parade is probably going to be quite the adventure. I've driven down it in my car and gotten marshmallows and tacos and trash thrown at us. I think they close it off about 10 p.m. the night before so many people are camping out on the sides to get good seats and just for the fun and the experience and uh you know all those kids are just messing around throwing things at people i mean what's a marshmallow gonna do it's not gonna hurt my but if i do it this year and i'm in my scooter 
Holy crap, yeah, I mean, a piece of trash or a taco might make a difference if it hits me. I like to keep this clean. So it looks like we're gonna hit all the red lights today, so just enjoy the leisure ride. And we'll try to get some views with the scooter. I just rode here in Pasadena on my Fluid Freeride Horizon. Really fun video, check it out. Hit the sidewalks, hit the streets. Uh, it's like I, it's what I like to do in the, uh, with the smaller scooters. Uh, this thing's just kind of a beast and uh, you can go on a sidewalk, but it's just almost easier to stay on the streets. So I don't know if you know this, but I'm pretty much beating traffic on this road because I'm cutting in front on every stoplight and you know, the speed, what cars are traveling right now is about 25 to 30 and this Apollo Ghost easily hits 25 to 30. It does so in about six seconds with me on it. Carousing! I think I mentioned it before. The Ghost just purrs at 30 miles an hour. So what I was saying before is the biggest thing I need to pay attention today is uh, not missing my turn. Cause I'm having so much fun cruising down. Gotta remember, we are on a mission today to ride the route of the Rose Parade. Let's make it happen. All right, so this is where I need a bike lane. You have cars parked in the bike lane and it means that I gotta come out and share the lanes with the vehicles. All right, so we're still heading east on Colorado Boulevard, which is where the bulk of the Rose Parade takes place. Okay, this is our, uh, this is our turn up here, guys. So I gotta make a left turn up here. I think we'll just uh, see how we wanna do this. I think we'll go on the side of the crosswalk. cars are not honking at me. We have now turned on to Sierra Madre Boulevard. We're actually getting really close to the end of the route, only about another mile left. guys this is uh traditionally where you're going to find the end of the route officially it ends there at villa avenue but the floats still have to keep going to their end destination where they're going to be on display so let's go back and get my car and see if we can get a couple of scoot scoots in it looks like we got one coming up here always make them friendly we want to pull people from the other side to the pgv world scooters are my favorite Scoot, scoot! Again, people have no clue what I'm saying, but I get a lot of enjoyment out of going by and yelling scoop, scoop at all the bikers. on a scooter is possibly my favorite way to get around. 
the bike lanes I'm in are great as long as there's not a car parked in them. And I think going forward, cities need to focus on planning for people that have different forms of mobility than a car. And I know they plan for bikes, but with personal electric vehicles, scooters, e-bikes, e-skateboards, and the other things that are certainly going to be coming on the market, it really is an advantage for a city to have that kind of logistics, those kind of scooter lanes, and those ways to make it easier to not get hit by a car. And in this scenario, this is a designated bike lane, but I am essentially pushed over into the road. me today. Bye now. Scoot, scoot.